in the heart of downtown Portland, Oregon, a tournament that often sends several messages. Today, the talk is that the season is nearly here. And he's turned into a fine player. Molino's ball in, and all the way in. Luis Amaria, Minnesota's new number nine. Right man, right place, right time. An opportunistic finish from Luis Amaria. Two goals in two pre-season games for Minnesota United's number nine. Pinea into Bunbury. Buxa! Really good finish. Lovely, sumptuous soccer from New England. That's what they're capable of, and that's what they expect from him. A set of goals from the two number nines. Amaria at one end, and now Buxa at the other. Intelligent touch inside by Bunbury, and Buxa able to curl the ball around the outstretched Tyler Miller. Really good finish. And we have a game on here at Providence Park. Forward now for Robin Lurd, who has got in behind here. The referee has given a penalty. And it's hard to argue against it. All of it came from the delightful pass from Chase Gasper. Lurd able to get in behind, and Andrew Farrell bringing down the Finland international. He knew he was in trouble as soon as the ball bounced. Bait at the moment seems to be, was that enough to bring down Robin Lurd? But the referee in the end says yes. And now it is Luis Amaria who scores. The pre-season belter right into the corner. And Amaria has two. Really well taken by Luis Amaria. A little last minute change of the hips means the ball went to the right. The body was open for some time. And Amaria into the path of Roma Metinier. Finlay. Trouble here for Minnesota. Although Michael Boxall doing his due diligence. A misguided pass from Molino had presented the ball to Bo, who scores. Now a horror moment for Kevin Molino. A real miscue. If ever there's a misguided pre-season pass there is one and Gustavo Bo after three previous attempts finally finds the back of the net and New England Revolution have themselves the goal they were looking for 9 goals in. and with that we have the final whistle and maybe those from Minnesota who feel they should have won it. Same can be said from the Revolution and their coaching staff as well. Many, I'm sure, will view this as a fair result. Both sides had plenty of openings, and the goals were scored by those you would expect.